All right. Welcome to the Everdell Moments. Getting ready for you. Getting the fish rubbed down. Getting the fish rubbed down. Okay, we got some slimy fish. All right. If you've been watching the show recently, you have watched a series of different types of fish butchery knives. Okay, we have had the Maurice Deba. We have had a knife that wasn't even meant for it. It was a brand new Sakamura Guto single bevel that we tried some fish butchery. Um, and if you've checked this out before, we have shown you fish butchery with a regular Deba, a Funayuki, Ajikiri. Um, we have been all over the place with different types of, of stuff. So today we have another unique shape. T today we have a Deba. Uh, this is Miura Knife brand. I hope I say this right, Miura, out of Japan. Um, they have Yoshikazu Tanaka. Come on, it's Yoshi Yoshikazu Tanaka. I mean, it's like he did this for their brand. Um, this is very unique. I'm nervous about sharing this with you. This is a Karitsuke Deba. Okay, so you heard me right. This is a K-tip Deba. Um, so, so we have that super pronounced Shinogi line. We have the very thick spine that you would expect on a Deba. And then we have the aura side. We have an extremely big height. The handle on this is humongous. I'm going to get some I other mean, knives honestly, out. Honestly, the handle seems about as big as the damn knife. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go ahead and get some other stuff out here by comparison. We have the Masamoto KS 165 millimeter Deba okay. versus this 180 millimeter. Um, you can see that the Tanaka is much thicker in the handle. For sure. You can definitely see the difference in the shape of the handle. The octagonal oh, yeah. versus. The D, yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and get out another Deba, my new favorite. This is the Katalka Morishi Deba. Again, thickness of the spine is there yep. um this knife though shares that super beat it might this was the biggest handle it might beat it um mm. i don't know my wife will have to tell me well uh, it, i think the octagonal it, but no i because just looking at the the width of this like if it were yeah. the width from here to here and here to here it's very similar i still think that one's bigger okay the, but the spine thickness is The Shinogi line on that is so pronounced. Yes. Okay, so what's going to be interesting today is how does a K-tip do when it comes to fish butchery? Okay, and just to go ahead and, and to answer a question, I have seen comments. Is it, are you sure it's not a Mukimono? Look, they have it on their website. So this is a Mukimono. This is kind of an accidental unboxing. I have not brought this knife out. So this is a Mukimono. Let's go ahead and take a look. Definitely difference in the size. Yep. Uh, definitely a little bit more of a taper down here. But I get it. I understand why um, people would want to say that. The height goes to the Deba. Yep. It's similar, but it's not the same. Yep. Okay. Okay, and for those of you who are like, what the hell is a Mukimono? So Mukimono is for um, vegetable and fruit decoration. Okay, so... Again, I have never used that because I suddenly have to learn vegetable and fruit decoration. I was about to say. My <laughs> wife is like, are you going to learn vegetable and fruit decoration? You know all kinds of things that I've had to learn for this channel. Like how amazing it would be. But so, to learn, so, I mean, but so I'm going to be a vegetable and fruit decorator with the Mukimono. So you got a little sneak peek. Obviously, I've not used it yet. 
we have we do not have luck with like paper cut stuff these these things are like let's just check you know okay the push cuts are is ridiculous but they're sharp. yeah they're they're sharp um yeah we we really have to like learn how to yeah it's okay we're gonna have some fun what is my concern my thought is gonna be how does this tip do now saying that if you would seen some other videos we put out I think it's a bonus. you would think that it's a bonus my wife has been with me through enough fish butchery that it should yes. be a plus so let's get into it um here we go folks okay so we are picking up the gills we are right behind it okay and we're gonna turn over we're gonna pick up a gill pick up another gill we're gonna go right behind the head and we are going to and we had absolutely no problems. This K tip, this is where it's going to shine. We think. Yeah. I was definitely concerned about the tip getting caught in places and say puncturing the skin. Uh, now, I need the back of the Shinogi line to rest on the bones. Um, I feel like I'm getting kind of caught on the bones right there. It is a sharp knife. Yeah. Let me get... So... Yeah, I mean, that was... My wife can tell you from watching me do it, that was pretty easy. Um, again, I'm not a sushi chef. I know you got some of you people are cringing. It is definitely a sharp knife, and I would say that that it ended up being pretty easy. Let's clean that up. It is not a Morishi Deba. Um, it is not that hybrid. Um, a couple of pin bones in there. We'll get those out. Let's see if we can clean up our cutting on this side. So we'll come underneath the fin here. Again, really nice. The tip is there. So I will say, you know, I'm right-handed. For those of you who know, it's a little bit harder on this particular side because you're you always want the the shinogi line kind of back on the the bones. It really helps to kind of keep it right on the edge. I have a habit that I want to turn it over. That is not the best solution. Um, that is just one of those bad habits that I have. But I can use that tip, kind of break that. That was really fun and nice. Okay, but we have a beautiful leg going. Again, it's, you can just see it's resting right on the bone. So I know I, it looked horrible, but the end result is pretty good. Let me kind of get that free. Tilapia is not my favorite thing to butcher, I will say that. Pretty, pretty stern fish. All right. Uh, that went way better than I thought, honestly. I mean, it's sharp. It's a Tanaka. It's definitely something to have if you like unique knives. Uh, the blonde ferrule, I think, is super attractive. The handle, I am not a fan of big handles, but this was super comfortable. I think it has to do with the weight of the actual knife. It just contributes itself to that. Pretty easy to navigate. Again, I went in with a much more negative attitude towards its performance, and it performed well. I'm still going to tell you that my Morishi Debo was like, what? Um, 
If I had not tried that, I would have loved this. I would have loved this. Um, I love my Masamoto KS, but this really did the job. So if you're a big fan of the very masculine K-tip and you want to put that on your Deva, definitely check out um, Mura Knives out of Japan. I think they have amazing prices as well. They were they did not pay me to say that. I had to pay for this knife. It was not given to me. Um, but I've been very happy with them and their service, as most of the people we've gotten knives from. Um, that was amazing. Sharp out of the box, fun to use, something different. Definitely not a dull moment. I appreciate you guys checking in. Please be kind with the butchery words in the comments. I We don't eat a lot of fresh fish around here. We don't. So I get to practice right here in front of you. I did no warm up before you got here. So, but the fish will taste good either way. I appreciate you guys checking in. We'll see you Friday nights. We do have a series of some Tuesday night stuff coming out. And as always, God bless. Good night.